The local governance project Sharik has been using outcome monitoring to measure the performance and quality of local governance. This video shares Sharik's approach and some key lessons. Sharik aims at empowering poor men and women and the disadvantaged to claim their rights and to benefit from more effective service provision by the local governments in two regions of Bangladesh. In practice, this means working towards three outcomes. First, supporting the lowest tiers of government, the Union Parishads or UPs, and the Upasila Parishads, so they manage their public affairs and resources in a more participatory and inclusive, transparent and accountable way. Second, empowering poor men, women and disadvantaged groups so that they know their rights and responsibilities and negotiate their interests in local planning and decision making. Third, promoting the use of Sharik's experience and lessons in public debates so that they influence local and national policy and regulations. In close consultation with the main project partners, namely the donors, partner NGOs and local governments, Sharik developed an output and outcome monitoring tool. The outcome monitoring tool focuses on a list of 17 outcome indicators and 120 sub-indicators along the three mentioned project outcomes. The cornerstones of the outcome monitoring tool are the quarterly outcome monitoring sheets, which gather the relevant information from the field. While Sharik is responsible for the design and quality control of the monitoring process, partner NGOs collect and organize the data together with the local governments. Uh, Sharik uh, local governance program in Bangladesh has a unique uh, monitoring system within the projects. And this is uh, very interesting because this is not a monitoring system from, for the project only. It's also a learning tool for all of our staffs, as well as it also a very important tool used by the Indian Parishads. As example, you could say how many households are paying their holding tax, and our Indian facilitators are collecting the data from the Indian Parishad and they're putting the value to the outcome monitoring. So this is also helping the Indian Parishads to get better information, where to put further emphasis to work, to how they could involve more citizens. Also, it helps our Indian facilitators to know how we could be more inputs. For the project level, we could find how we could give uh, more orientations to our colleagues it helping our Indian projects and as well as projects to get more concrete data which actually contributing to see the qualitative changes as well as to see the trend of changes and through this we are using this monitoring tool as not only a monitoring part rather also a learning tool for us the experience of Sharik highlights several positive aspects and challenges of outcome monitoring. One lesson is that outcome monitoring serves multiple purposes. For example, it enables the project to measure progress at the outcome level. It serves for reporting to donors as a benchmark among the local governments and to assess the performance of local governments in view of providing co-funding. At the same time, it is a learning tool for the project team, partner NGOs and local governments. Outcome monitoring provides a comprehensive picture, addressing the overall performance and governance situation in the local government units. The 17 outcome categories cover diverse aspects such as leadership, organization, capacities, access to services, planning, budgeting and decision making. All this with a particular of emphasis on giving a voice to women and marginalized groups. As any tool, outcome monitoring has its limitations. For example, it does not explicitly address power relations and cost-benefit elements. Consequently, complementary tools are used when required. So that outcome monitoring can reach its potential, some conditions need to be in place. For example, the monitoring system should be designed at an early stage of a program. The main purpose of outcome monitoring and roles of different stakeholders should be defined in the very beginning. Partners should be involved in all stages and the data collection should fit with the partner's planning schedule, also because considerable human resources are required for data collection and analysis. When these conditions are met, outcome monitoring can be a powerful tool for measuring progress in a participatory way, making monitoring a regular exercise for learning and project steering.